River Story by Meredith Hooper All rivers have a beginning. High in the mountains the snow is melting. Trickles of water are running together, bubbling through moss, dripping down ledges, coming together into a stream. A small, shining stream slipping over pebbles, skidding round rocks and bumping into roots. Fed by a waterfall, bouncing down boulders, fed by another stream, smaller and faster, snow falls of water, spring falls of water, streamfuls of water coming together into a river. The river races deep down narrow valleys, milky cold, rattling bold, fast moving river, scooping up earth and digging out stones, mining the mountains, wearing them down. The river swirls busily under a bridge. Stand on the bridge and look down at the water. You can't see the bottom. You can't see high deep. You can't see the shapes hidden under the surface. Trunks of old trees, big fish waiting and little fish darting. Bottles dropped and treasures lost. The river is quieter, leaving the mountains. It winds between meadows, long strands of waterweed, streaking its surface. Willow tree lean their leaves in the water, and people row boats, trailing their fingers. Cows come drinking, their sharp hooves sinking, into the sticky brown, river brown mud. The river grows wider and deeper and stronger, and fast currents ripple its silky brown surface. The water moves silently onto the city. Inside the city, the river is crowded, jostled by buildings, hemmed in by roads. The traffic moves over and under and around it. Drains spill their water and stray dogs slink by. And up and down the river go slow moving barges and bright busy ferries, shiny glass tour boats and tough little tugs. The river is slowing, sliding past mud flats, looping through marshes, carrying its load of earth and leaves, tin cans and cartons, and bits of old wood. Where the river reaches the edge of the land, waves wash the sand, and fresh water meets salt water. The seabirds are calling, the sea winds are blowing. The journey is over. The end.